All right, everybody. Welcome back to Maddie Moolah. Today we're going to do something a little different. So I've had some folks, you know, I have been adventuring into the NFT space a little bit. Now I'm not going to make this an NFT sort of channel, but uh, I know some folks are curious and I would love to help them out as much as I can any way that I can. That's what I do. Um, so if this isn't your sort of content, don't unsubscribe. This is going to be a one-off here. Um, and, you know, maybe educate yourself a little bit. NFTs are in their infancy. Uh, while I think a lot of them are going to go to zero, I'm just going to be blunt, 90% of them, maybe more are going to go to zero. There will be some that have some sort of value. And with that, I think it might be prudent for you to understand a little bit and get an education on it, which is the whole reason why I'm doing it. You know, I've probably wasted $600, $700 worth of money on NFTs, learning a little bit about it, multiple different blockchains. But at the end of the day, I just want to show you guys how to mint one if you ever so choose to do so. So we're gonna be minting a Board Ape Yacht Club on the Ethereum Classic Network. Now, a lot of you guys have probably heard about Board Ape Yacht Club, which is have a $71 or 71 Ethereum, sorry, floor price, which is just over $200,000. You see famous people like Eminem, Post Malone, Future are buying these sorts of things. This isn't that, this is Ethereum Classic. So it's a little bit different of a blockchain, different currency altogether, but it's the same exact sort of apes that you're getting on the Ethereum chain, just a slightly different background. So um, same rarity, all that stuff as the originals from the Ethereum blockchain to some Ethereum Classic. And so I've minted a few to hopefully see what ends up happening in the next couple months, but we're not hyping them up as much as I love them and as much as I have, I already have like what, 11 or 12 of them. We're gonna mint another one here right now. Um, I'm just showing you guys how to do an NFT. So that's the real hope of this. So. Find a project that you like, community. Hopefully it's community-based, hopefully there's a great community behind it. Hopefully you like the art as well, because like I said, some of these things are eventually gonna go to zero. So hopefully you like the space, you like that art particularly, and you really like the community that you're getting involved in. Um, you have to set up a wallet. So I'll show you briefly how to do that, and then I'll show you exactly how I mint it as well. So this one actually only has just under 11% left remaining. So there's 10,000. Um, actually available, um, of which 9,000 have almost been minted. So we're gonna to touch a little bit about that. I'll show you some of mine at the end, uh, but what's more important is to get you guys all set up on the, uh, on the network and be able to buy it. So this works for everything. I'm gonna show you guys just specifically how to do an Ethereum Classic because it's a little bit more niche um, than what you have, but find out what your project takes. For me, it's going to take two Ethereum Classic. Uh, so with that, uh, yeah, I go to Coinbase. Uh, you can do Coinbase Pro if you have more money set up there. Maybe you don't have to go to Coinbase at all if you kind of have everything all set up. But if you're kind of new to the process, link up your bank account, mine's Wells Fargo to Coinbase, and buy your Ethereum Classic in that respect. And then you're going to have to send it to a different wallet for you to be able to sort of mint to. So that being said, buy whatever project you want it could be it's not going to be bitcoin but it'll be ethereum solana it'll be ethereum classic polygon whatever um, you have to buy it here on coinbase now what you're going to do is get a metamask now metamask isn't going to work with solana but it works with ethereum it works with ethereum classic so what you're going to do is download metamask and you're going to install it there's videos on youtube to do this relatively quickly and you're going to install a chrome app so i'll show you guys just in a second uh, what that looks like as you kind of go forward but uh, it's mostly, MetaMask is mostly set up for Ethereum. So in order to set it up for Ethereum Classic, uh, there's some things that you kind of have to do. Log into MetaMask, you can create your account and everything like that. Make sure you save your pass keys somewhere safe. Uh, I set it up on a Google Sheet um, to kind of keep as well. Uh, so I have everything kind of in one sort of location. Maybe not the smartest idea, uh, but at the end of the day, um, it allows me to quickly access it if I need it. Uh, I should probably store it in a hard drive somewhere off my computer. But basically you're looking at what MetaMask would look like, a main, mostly Ethereum sort of network uh, wallet that you can use. Uh, but with that, you're gonna have to switch to a custom sort of network, right? MetaMask works with a bunch of different stuff. You can see all the different networks it has. You're gonna create a custom one specifically for Ethereum Classic. It's not to say it doesn't work with Ethereum Classic, it's just not as regularly used as say some of these other ones. So you're just gonna go to custom and you're gonna create up your own network. And what it has, network name, RPC URL, chain ID and all that stuff. So you'd immediately just kind of go down, enter this material here, 
uh, and step six, the network name, the RPC URL, chain ID 61, ETC and all that. And it's literally that simple. Now I'm gonna exit full screen mode because I have my MetaMask sort of set up. And what then you'll see is I kind of have the two networks set up. I have my main wallet, which has Ethereum, which I don't really use this one for Ethereum. And then I have my Ethereum Classic one set up. I did that all utilizing this website here. I'll put it in the description for you guys. So you see now with that, I have two Ethereum Classic just kind of sitting here waiting to be utilized. As you can see, I have a bunch of activity all with two Ethereum Classic because I'm a crazy minting mother effort today. Um, and let me just double check that that's like literally all you have to do. Yeah, so once that's done, you just kind of would check and go towards and see your Ethereum Classic sort of network versus sort of your Ethereum main network. And that's as simple as that. You kind of have it all set up for you at that point. And all you would have to do before you sort of get to this point is, which I've already done, go to your Coinbase, buy as much Ethereum Classic as you want. These are two Ethereum Classic each, so that's 60 bucks right now. Um, and say you wanted to buy two of them, you buy, let's just say four Ethereum Classic, you go to buy, um, let's just kind of do it here. Let's go to buy, we're gonna buy Ethereum Classic, you do that, we'll do all this stuff, hit however much you want. I generally just do this, I have a little bit left over, and I'll just do that, hit buy. Um, in this case, I already did that, so I wish I did it uh, you know, on camera for you guys, but, uh, and at this point, you can see, I already transferred over to Ethereum Classic from my Coinbase account. Now it's probably better for you to use Coinbase Pro. Fees are cheaper, but a lot of times I just I don't like to wait, so I'll spend the extra dollar or two to do that. Now, <clears throat> what you're going to do, and hopefully it's a very reputable website, reputable project, is you're going to connect up your wallet. Um, so uh, mine does it pretty quickly, but let me just kind of like disconnect it really quick so you guys can kind of see uh, what I'm talking about. Let's go to connected sites. Disconnect. So what it's going to do is it's going to say, hey, you know, you want to mint, you know, you got to connect up your wallet. So what are you going to do? It's saying, hey, ETC, BAC, BAYC wants to connect with your MetaMask. Is it a reputable place? Yes, it is. I've been here before. I've minted from here. Let me go ahead, connect up. And you can see these are the ones that I've already minted uh, in the past. But what we're going to do, we're going to mint one more. So we're going to go to mint. And we're going to see, okay, uh, two Ethereum Classic to mint one NFT. There's just under 1,100 remaining. Um, and you can select how many you would want to mint. In this case, we're just going to mint one because I'm broke and I've already minted a bunch. You're just going to hit mint. It's going to come over to your MetaMask. It's going to ask you to approve. You can see how cheap the transaction fees are for Ethereum Classic comparatively to Ethereum, um, which is pretty cool, right? Like you're talking about minuscule amounts of money compared to what you have on Ethereum. You're going to go ahead and hit confirm. Um, and it's going to take a second to be confirmed by the blockchain. And boom, you can see it's been confirmed over here based off of MetaMask. Let's go to open this bad boy and see which one it is. Uh, all these ones are ones I bought in the past. So let's just check. This one's not bad. Number 437, rarity 3238. So can't complain with that, it's mine. You can see I own it on the blockchain. Um, the cool thing about this, you can actually just download it to your computer. Some people might think this is the funny part. So I'm literally just copy, saving, putting it into sort of like all my NFT sort of buckets. Um, Cause you're like, haha, why can't I just right click and save? But it's like, okay, yeah, you could do that. You could say it's yours, but at the end of the day, I'm the one that has the contract. And I'm the one that actually, if I were to connect up a wallet or anything like that, it shows, hey, these are my apes, right? Out of the 10,000, I have 13 of them. And these are mine. You could you could copy, right click and save. But at the end of the day, if I were to actually sell it, people are gonna be like, okay, where's the contract, right? Like you can copy the, the Ethereum normal ones for 70 ETH and just be like, okay, right click, save, and let me sell it to you. And if somebody doesn't know what the hell is going on, maybe they'll buy it from you. But if they're smart and they understand what's going on, the actual contract of it, um, you know, they would say, dude, like, let's set it up on the blockchain. Let's get it certified by the blockchain, right? And you saw what happened. Like, I hit yes, and it basically went through the network, and it got proved by the network. All the people that are mining out there certifying the transaction said, yep, okay, this person is moving to Ethereum Classic to um, Ethereum Classic Board Ape Yacht Club, and we're going to mint him 
the uh, mint him the transaction. And so if you were to go into the actual blockchain, you could see it was minted. It wasn't just transferred. It wasn't stolen. It was minted and given to my address. So um, originated and created, and I was the first owner of it. Now I can go and sell it to whomever I want uh, for whatever price that they would be willing to potentially pay, but I would do that on the blockchain, right? So um, that's that's essentially how it works. But uh, yeah, you can see I have some cool ones, man. Like I don't have the best of uh, best of them, but um, some cool ones. If you were to say look at uh, look at what I got, and um, yeah, that's relatively it for this particular video. That's all I wanted to kind of share with you guys is how to potentially mint and. Um, yeah, that's relatively it, man. Like, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool, different, uh, different NFTs. And I just want to share that with you guys. It's something I've been kind of looking at and, and kind of uh, speculating on, and uh, thought it was really cool. So I figured I would take the opportunity, to kind of do it. I mentioned these two this morning, um, which I thought this one's really cool looking. Not as rare, only twenty eight hundred, but out of the 10,000, but like, I think it's just really cool. Like, I like the hat, I like the shirt, really cool. And then the one that I have that's the most rare, uh, it's rare, I think, because of the fur. All right, I mentioned this one not too long ago. Um, this is uh, Rarity 1444. So the most rare that I have, and you can see the original is on the right versus kind of like what I have was on the left. The green is kind of the background that I have, um, and then the original shows up as this so if you were to look up the original board Ape yacht club 18 829 it would show up as this with the orange background and everything like that but you can kind of see the fuzziness um which i think they call it noise if i remember correctly uh where's it at eyes fur fur is noise yeah so uh this is the one i have as my profile pic on twitter so if you guys are interested um feel free to check it out but that's really it man just wanted to share that with you guys hope you guys enjoyed and uh yeah, if you guys have any other questions about anything, let me know. Like I said, this is going to be a one-off video. Some folks asked me how to mint. I minted it up. And uh, yeah, just hope you guys enjoy and see you guys on the next video. Cheers.